Very good morning, Kurt Bartholomew. How are you, my friend? I'm very great. How are you? Good. Looking forward to seeing you in a few days down in Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah, me too. It's going to be super exciting. Have you, have you been to the location, Kurt? Did you visit? Yeah. Yeah, I went, I went last year. Um, I helped them, helped them uh, check, out, check it out, make sure, you know, it was the size of what worked and um, checked on the trees because there's a bunch of trees around and helped them, you know, gave them some advice on, on where to locate the pond to make the, you know, just use the space in the optimal way. So, yeah. And what do you think? How's it going to be? I know some pilots have got reservations about it. Oh, no, I can't wait. Oh, my God. It's right. going to be so awesome. So, yeah. So it's on a it's on a. The Barber Motorsports Park, which is a racetrack, and um, I'm I'm a huge nerd when it comes to racing. I love watching racing, so I yeah. I couldn't be more pumped to go compete uh, at, at at this venue. Um, I, I love not landing on drop zones as it is, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't mind, you know, swooping by trees and, and things like that. And the weather should be really nice. And um, I can't wait. The 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 racetrack itself is so it's such a beautiful place. Like. The landscaping they do around it and the way they maintain it um yeah. it's it's uh, it's an amazing venue for sure all right and with the new distance rules i know there's lots of different calculations and formulas and ideas of what people want to do which water gates they want and then with the distance as well what are you thinking kurt what what's the strategy so well they, they actually made some adjustments to the rules since uh dubai since we tested yeah. it um, so I don't think we're going to really see much of that anymore. Um, but we're just going to see everybody dragging uh, every zone, you know. Um, right. It, it's, uh, if you miss a zone, I think it's just going to take too many points away now. So there's going to be a little right. bit less strategy and, and more, um, you know, just trying to be tight on that, you know, right just before the edge of the second zone and just trying to drag it on and go for it. So, yeah. So I'm just running it in my head the easiest way to explain it to the uh, audience with previous distance it's no problem it's as far as it can go you know flight mode and all that so now i want i want to be thinking about telling people the pilots are trying to get every gate in the water before they get the distance yep yeah exactly so we just have to we have to touch between each zone like just yeah I mean, somewhere in every zone so we don't have to be super tight on the entry gate uh, we can kind of touch down just prior to the second, uh, the second gate, you know? Yeah. So still shouldn't be too difficult. You'll figure it out. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I always do. The main difference this time is uh, it'll be in the States and people will actually understand my words. Hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, that is a that is a big benefit, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know really because I got away with a lot in uh, Cali, Colombia, and then in Poland because all I had to do is smile and say things, and they just joined in. But now they're going to think, <laughs> "What's he talking about?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. It's going to be great. So I was looking at Facebook, um, and I was I was very interested to see this post about a new junior CP team rise. What's all that about? Yeah, so it's kind of a new concept for bringing the canopy piloting. Um, you know, as, as you know, we, we run the, the FLCPA, the Florida Canopy Piloting Association, um, which is a big league. It's um, six, six uh, rounds of competition per year. We do a season standing at the end. We broke, we broke it down into three classes because it's getting so big. So now we have beginner, intermediate, and pro. Yeah. Uh, and in our league, you have to earn your pro card, right? the top 20% of the intermediate class gets bumped up to the pro class. Um, and this league's an amazing place. Um, it's, you know, it, it helps give competitors, you know, especially newer competitors, a place to learn how, how to swoop. So they're not showing up to a nationals at the first time um, right. for the first comp, you know, and, which is a little intense. Um, and it's just been growing and growing. But one of the things we noticed is, you know, obviously competing is, is really, it's, it's tough. It's, it's a lot, it's really expensive. It's a lot of money. Um, it's the level of competition these days is so high. Um, so we're trying to find ways to retain competitors and, and yeah. motivate everybody to, to keep coming out. You know, and we notice when there's little pockets of, of competitors that are from the same spot or just that have become really good friends. Those are the guys that always come out. You know, they're the ones that right. tra train the hardest. They tend to motivate each other. 
So um, we came up with this idea over the winter. It took us a little while to kind of implement and come up with the, the, the right uh, execution of it. But um, so we, we started a junior team for Alter Ego. So we grabbed a bunch of the guys that um, have really awesome attitudes. You know, they're, they're working really hard. We've been working with them, seeing them at the comps for the last year or two. And they just, they have a ton of motivation. Um, and we pull them into a, a, a singular team and they are a little spread out, which is good. And we're gonna, we're gonna just help them learn to operate as a team, you know, learn to motivate each other. Um, obviously, keep nurturing their, their really good attitudes. And yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's all about just, you know, keeping, just, just keeping that, that fire going, you know, and yeah. keeping that motivation. Cause it, it's, it, it's over a long period of time. Even people who are, progress a lot and get a lot better. Sometimes they don't see it. Right. Because right. we're going out and we're not always just thinking about how we're flying. It, it, we're seeing the scores and sometimes, you know, they're just not exactly where they want to be on the scoreboard, but from the outside, especially, you know, when we're coaching them and helping them, um, which all the pros help all the younger classes out all the time during these comps. It's a, it's a really great um, just, you know, atmosphere to be in. Yeah. But we see it, but sometimes they're just, they don't, they don't end up where they want to be because the, um, the level is so high. So um, this team is designed to help keep that going, you know, keep that motivation high support each other, learn to be a good teammate, all that really good stuff. And um, they're going to have a lot of support from us, from Alter Ego as well. You know, um, we're going we're gonna to bring them in on some training camps, plan some yeah. trips with them. Um, and, you know, it's, it can be as, as, as intense as they want it or as super chill as they want it to be. Um, we can have a widespread, um, a widespread group. Uh, and if they want to take it and run with it and really, you know, hit it hard and get up to the pro class and try to get to the top, great. If a couple of the guys just want to be super chill and, you know, just, just use it to have fun and, and, and use it to keep coming out and, and just motivate their teammates. Um, that's, that's fine too. So we're, we're really excited to see where it goes for sure. Yeah. That sounds like a really interesting idea. Are they going to be involved in a basic coaching of newer people or, or just competition? No, no, no. This is just, this is just competition stuff. Um, you know, obviously Alter Ego and, and the Alter Ego project is our canopy school. Yeah. Um, so we have our, our group of instructors who obviously get a, uh, a lot of support from us in different ways and, and a handful of those guys compete. So they have that support too. Um, but yeah, these guys, it's just, it's just planned on, you know, just being this team. If, if they want to get into coaching, you know, we'll, we can talk to them about that later. Maybe even just, yeah. you know, pull them on as, a, as, a, as an official instructor. Um, but for now, it's just, it's just trying to bring up the new guys. And, um, you know, we, we do have one guy in the intermediate class right now. Everybody else is in the beginner class. We didn't really plan that out and like have certain slots for, you know, the different classes. But even if um, even if somebody bumps up to the pro class, we want them to stay on the team. And, um, you know, we want it to be spread out through, through yeah. the three classes. And we'll probably bring some more people on as well. This is just kind of the first batch. Um, these, these guys were kind of handpicked because, you know, we know their their attitude and we want, we want to keep that rolling and, and keep that good vibe. But we'll probably let people some, you know, at the end of the year, we'll bring on some a couple extras, let people um, kind of apply and uh, go through and have even have the teammates, you know, help decide who they want yeah. on. So it's going to be really wow. awesome. Sounds like a great idea. I look forward to uh, getting a few of them on here. We'll have a little interview with them and uh, ask about how it's going and uh, a bit further yeah. down the line. That'll be really cool. Yeah, so after the uh, after the World Games, what have you got planned, Kurt? What have you got going on after that? Uh, well, we finally get back, uh, get to go back to Europe um, for for all the major comps. Um, yeah. I'm really excited. I, I can't wait. Obviously, because of the whole you know pandemic thing, uh, it's been tough to get back to Europe. We, um, we elected not to go to Pink Open last year because it was right before the World Championships. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, we could have gone, but, uh, you know, the worry is, you know, you end up getting in, having a quarantine for 10 days. You miss, the, um, you miss the World Championships. That was a little, just a little too tight. We trained a little hard to, to risk that, but um, the scheduling works out way better this year and it's just a lot easier to manage everything. So um, I'm going to end up going to... Ravenna for the competition yeah. uh, in Italy. 
uh, pretty much just a couple weeks, a uh, week and a half or so after the World Games. So I'm really excited to get back there. Unfortunately, Jeannie has to go to the uh, summer board meeting for the USPA because she's a national director. Yeah. But that's awesome as well. So she'll be there. <clears throat> I go over there and then she'll meet me in Europe for some coaching. And then we go back to the Pink Open. So I can't wait to hit those two comps. I'm, I'm super pumped about that. It's going to be such a great summer. Excellent. Oh, well, thanks, Kurt. It's been great to catch up with you. And I'll see you in a few days down in Birmingham, Alabama. All right. Yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. So much yeah. fun. See you there, man. Take care. All right. Thank you for having me. See you later.